So today is January 19th, 1996. We're still 29. <laughs> Our birthday's not for another week. It's your anniversary, though. That's right. Enjoy yourself. I Jim if he wants it, so. Okay. You Enjoy yourself. You know, I'm I mean, perfectly happy, happy to make enough for you. And the date is January 19th, 1996. And I'm recording uh, on film this uh, auspicious occasion here. And the time is... You don't have a time stamp on that? I do, 8.14. Eight, <laughs> eight it says 8.14. I suspect, I suspect this time stamp is probably uh, daylight saving time, which it is. It says 8.14, but we know it's well, really 7.09 okay. is what I've got. It's, it's January, so we know that it can't right. be Well, daylight. it has the... It has the January 19th. This is already going to be a, a tape to watch over and over again. <laughs> right. Absolutely. And at the head of the table, we have Grandma. And uh, to her right, we have uh, Jennifer who's holding a mug that says 3 on it. What is that 3 for? 3 -0. That's 3 -0. Let me uh, zoom, <laughs> zoom in on that with an exclamation point. Uh, all happy... Uh, birthday, it says. Okay, I can barely read that. Very good. And next to next to Jennifer is Ed. Sterling narrative there, Ed. Very good. Next to Jennifer is Ed. Ed is holding his red wine there. Oh, we don't want an empty soundtrack, do we? So I can eat a green bean really noisily. Excellent. Okay. No soup, though. Then we come to the empty chair, which I have vacated. And now we have Jim, and he's eating his <laughs> pot roast. He doesn't have his pot roast. Why did you say that was so funny? I said I'm just I'm doing a I'm doing a boring I'm doing a boring narrative on this video which I'm taking. I'm saying Jim is eating his pot roast. Have you ever heard that a picture is worth a thousand words? Right. Another boring day in paradise, but right. someone has to right. do it. And here's Mom eating a. Uh, cucumber, excellent. And now we've made it the circuit around the table. We're back to Grandma. And here's the half-eaten pot roast. Here's the oh, half-eaten pot roast. Okay. 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 Very good. Mother, would you like some more brisket? No. Okay. Okay. I think I'll take you more tea. Sure. 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 <laughs> I've only got two minutes and 30 seconds of video. I need more than that. That be enough. <laughs> you could also mention that it's your anniversary. Yes. This is, how many years is this, Carol? 38. 38 years. That's a very big number. Large numbers. Right. And uh, James is also 30, by the way. Or will be on the, what, 28th? 26th. 26th. What? James will also be 30 on the 26th of January in 1996. How about that? And I said it's a very big number. This is, no, this is 96, isn't it? No, 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 it's her age. Oh, my, grandma's 95, yes. She's in a 96th year, so we'll, you know, we can get around it that way. You can be both. You can be, have completed 95 and be into the 96th year. Very good. And I think I'll back out of this film now and with <laughs> well, you can. 3, 3, 338. Yeah, why? Because he, I don't know. Oh, he was using it as a VCR? Yeah. Oh, I see. This wouldn't, uh, this would go over big with the boss. Not that it was, it wasn't a TV set. This is his last day yesterday. Oh, he didn't, he didn't care, his last huh? day. He didn't care, no. He was leaving for a job that was going to pay like 50% more. Huh? Some now. Wait for a minute since it's its second, uh, its second shot at it. 15%. I know, but it's strong on my TV. I know, but this is since it's its second cup full, it needs a little bit more in there, even to make okay. it weak. Okay. Okay. And we ought to drink a toast to all of those family members who are stuck in the cold and ice right. and snow. That would be uh, Perry and Karen and Don and Arthur and Judy yeah. and uh, Liz. And Shakespeare. <laughs> and all and the cast. Liz and, and Peter. And Oscar. And, and Ken. Carlos. And Britt. 
and Britt, and all the cats. Everybody's got cats. cats. No, Jim doesn't have a cat. My roommate has a cat. All right. But you hate it. Yes, I do. The cats are a long story, Mother. Perry started out with a cat in his music studio to clear the mice. And then when he lost, the, he closed the studio, he, right he farmed out that cat to Don. Is that what happened? Yes. The yes. cat's name was Shakespeare. Oh. And somehow Don came up with another cat. A pal for Shakespeare. Which was named Ophelia. Actually, he was going to name her Ophelia if she was nice and Lady Macbeth if she wasn't. <laughs> so uh, she's Ophelia. She's nice. <laughs> Shakespeare apparently is a very large cat physically. Exactly like Ozzy. And and uh, Ophelia is a little cat, right? Well, Ophelia was a kitten when he got her. Right. But she's and little Shakespeare, Shakespeare. Shakespeare kind of ate Ophelia's food for a while. That's a problem. Well, they eat each other. And you have a uh, let's see. Then Perry living up in. Uh, um, Greenwood Lake. Greenwood, Upper Greenwood Lake. Uh, his his wife Karen really didn't like cats, but they came upon a cat astray. Was it? Was it? Yeah. yeah. Named Carlos. Carlos. I don't know why Carlos. Maybe Carlos, Carlos the Jackal. After Carlos the Jackal, because when he first came in, uh, Karen is deathly allergic to certain things, and he must have been rolling around in something she was allergic to because she touched him. And started to. She had an anaphylactic a, reaction, yes, they say. You know, like. Reaction. She swells up. She gets really. I mean, and, not just sneezing, yeah. she gets really bad reactions. And, uh, and she said, What are you trying to kill me, Perry? Uh, what is this, Carlos the Jackal? So they named him Carlos. And now she loves that cat to death. She, yeah, she, she treats She it. hated cats before. Carlos the Jackal was a Peruvian terrorist? Is that no, it? no, he was a French terrorist. French. Carlos was the. Uh, was the guy who was assigned to kill de Gaulle, but uh, never managed to do it. There's a whole book and movie on that. Well, if there's anything that I just like is cats. Wow. Yeah. And if I and come to anybody's house and there's a cat, they have to lock it up. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's the way I f feel about it. And they apparently, apparently Karen felt that way about it, but uh, not anymore. Actually, Dawn's cats hide under the bed. They hide themselves when it's right. I can hear they don't like people. I didn't want to prove it, but if I came in, <laughs> would come out and go for my legs. I, I was in somebody's house one day, and they were talking about that. And she always locked up her cats when I came in. But one fellow was, he was determined that he was going to prove that I was wrong. They didn't say anything. He went into the kitchen picked up a cat and put it on me. <laughs> and I had a hysterics. <laughs> well, there's just something about you that uh, they love, that's all. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. Most yeah. cats can tell it. I live down the lower east There's side, an allergic person. And the garbage cans were always out. Like them. And the cats they were there to the garbage. And whenever we'd come home, when I'd come back with Harry, he was swearing that I was, it was my imagination. If I cross the street, the cat cross the street. If he crossed the street and I stayed there, put the cat stayed with me. Yeah. Well, too bad you didn't love them the way they loved you. <laughs> yeah. Well, no one wants a, a mangy stray cat following them around. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you a very funny story. I was in Camp Copake where, over a Labor Day after group, several of us who had gone to summer school through with college, and we met up there. And we decided we didn't like the camp we were at, the adult camp. So we walked across the grounds, went to another one. When we came back, the cat was following us. The way the cat was in and out between my legs. So the friend of ours that I was with, she knew how to handle cats. She picked it up by the scruff of the neck and walked into the woods and put the cat in the woods. And then we all went back to camp. It was a Labor Day weekend after college was closed. And we were about 10 in the one camp, one tent. And when we came into the tent, who bed do you think the cat was on? That's <laughs> uh, too bad you don't love cats. <laughs> do you know, I was guarded by a watch cat when I was a baby. A watch cat. 
I didn't think your, your parents went through They didn't. Um, we lived in a two-family house. And as was common in those days, the owners of the two-family house lived on the lower floor, and we yeah, lived on the upper that's, floor. That's still common. And um, they were very nice people. They had a cat. And um, they used to put me out in the carriage. Uh, to get some On the porch, right? And the cat would sit on the edge of the carriage and watch over me. And all it did was sit on the edge of the carriage. But, uh, listen, you know, my, my mother didn't like dogs either, really. She got to like Kelly, but she really didn't like dogs particularly. Your father My was father was really a dog. Well, you know, my father had a dog. I know, he gave Why don't we you help Mom uh, with the dishes here? I never, never, never um, mind a dog. Yeah, cats seem too intelligent, and I hate that. I hate to feel like uh, inferior, you know. <laughs> Depends on the cat. Are they dumb cats? Well, they train you. They have us totally trained. They go to the basement door when they want to go in the basement. We open the door for them. <laughs> you have more than one cat. Well, we're watching Ed's sister's cat. Oh, I see. Aren't you lucky? Is Ed's sister? Are you? Is your sister coming back? <laughs> yes, next weekend actually. We've had the cat her. for two months. Well, my niece Lorraine. Huh? Did she? Was she did she have cats? Same cats. Really? Well, I went there. I wouldn't go in. This is in Morocco. Pardon me. In Morocco or somewhere else? No, Virginia. In Virginia. Yeah. And so. Uh, I wouldn't stay there, so she could be. I left immediately and went to where, wherever we were going. She came home, found a note that said I was there and I wouldn't go in. So she told me back and said, if you could come to Morocco to visit us, then I certainly can house the cat somewhere else for you to come and visit us. Okay, that sounds fair. There you go. My, uh, my roommate's cat will chill. The cat will, the, the front door in the house has a, a large pane of glass in it, a window, and the cat will, uh, when she wants to be let in, will hang on the, the door and meow just so that her head is visible in hang the, on the, the window. She'll, hang on the doorknob? No, 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 she hangs on the, on the wood. She I see. sinks her claws into the wood on the door, on the I outside see. of the door, just so that her head is visible in the in the window and she meows and, and it's kind of this muffled <laughs> yeah. and it, it really is just... gonna watch the video I love that imitation he does of the cat, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. And, <laughs> we got it on film. Oh, I'll have to watch it. I never go anywhere. Do it again, Jim, so Jen doesn't have to watch the film. Uh, I should show her. Okay. <laughs> and, and it's it's really very funny and, and since I really don't like that cat, I, I just let her hang there for a long time. Where is she hanging? She's hanging on the front door on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> but, but when you open the door, she's just still hanging visible. there and then she kind of jumps and, or she falls down and she, into the house. Jim is giving another meaning to hang out. <laughs> when I was visiting Lorraine, that said that, that since I could come and visit her in Morocco, she certainly is good take care of the cats. But when I came and she put the cat out, the cat climbed up, looked into the window, oh. through the window, so she would know she wanted to come.